I did four deployments. After each deployment, I said nothing was wrong with me. Everything that I went through in, in battle and combat. Kind of lost, confused, severe depression, a high amount of anxiety. I was diagnosed with PTSD. The only way that it worked for me was to self-medicate. I cycled down into um, to a lot of substance abuse. Cocaine, uh, heroin. And because of that, I lost my home. I was left homeless on the streets, and uh, I lived in a riverbed. With no place to go, with no money, not knowing where my next meal is coming from, not knowing when am I going to be able to bathe myself again. I got out of the military. It was fruitless. You know, hard to get a job. There, there's just no jobs. There's nothing for us to do out there. Veterans Village of San Diego has been working on those exact same issues since 1981 when it was founded by a group of Vietnam veterans. Serving over 2,000 veterans a year, VVSD is a nationally recognized leader in providing prevention, intervention, treatment and employment services to military veterans including men and women who have recently returned from Iraq and Afghanistan. I mean a lot of the same lessons we didn't learn or learn from Vietnam. And there was going to be some mental health issues, and it's going to be widespread, and you're going to have to do something about it. You know, I was going through a lot, man. A lot of stuff that was just buried in my subconscious. My mind is one of my biggest enemies. I can get locked in my head for hours and hours and just spiral downward. I decided to, to drink. I decided not to talk about my problems. I decided I, wanted, I didn't want to speak to nobody about it. I was a hopeless dope fiend. I didn't have any direction in life. I lost everything and everyone close to me. And I realized that Look, something's got to change. Something has to change or else this is what the rest of my life will look like. Many of our vets come to those decisions at Stand Down. We started this in 1988. More than 200 others now follow our model nationwide. We were featured on CBS's 60 Minutes in 2010 and again in 2011. Vets get help with medical, legal, and all the issues they face. And they face a lot of them. I lost faith in humanity altogether. I, di I didn't know what to do about that. And then when I went into the fence and I saw all the volunteers and I, they were very compassionate because I, when I lost my faith in humanity, I, I was hopeless. I didn't believe that anyone cared anymore. I got to go sit in the tent and wait to come to VVSD. I was relieved. I was so grateful that they gave me a second chance. There's something magical that happens on that field, and I truly believe that. Since 1997, BVSD has operated a veterans winter shelter four months of the year. 150 veterans a night can get off the streets. There's always a demand for beds. If it wasn't for this, I would be out sleeping on the cold, on the ground. Um, I wouldn't have any help, no resources. I would have nowhere to turn. So I really appreciate this. This gives me another chance to get my life back together. We know it's hard to walk into our Veterans Rehabilitation Center and ask for help, but we have a safe, structured environment, a licensed substance abuse program, mental health counseling, and maybe most of all, fellow vets who've been there and welcome them home. You know, I walked in and I got, welcome home, welcome home. And that to me meant like, I can't even tell you how much that meant to me. A lot of veterans here, a lot of people that I can understand with, I could, I can touch bases with, they can understand what I'm going through. And it's like a big family here. I've already got that built-in trust. I know they raised their hand to, 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 to do the same thing I did. They know how to deal with, with, with us combat, combat vets, with us vets that have PT, PTSD issues, that have uh, alcohol abuse issues, uh, just any kind of issues. They help me to understand that I don't have to use to live. It's just a great place. I mean, I, I'm getting a chance to get myself back together again. I like to think that nobody would really be able to guess that I'm a homeless veteran. I believe every person at VVSD is a miracle because we're, we're lucky we didn't die out there. We know that the end of the rainbow for our veterans is a job. A job cures a lot of the problems vets face. We provide job training and placement for all veterans. We have a high degree of success matching military specialties with civilian jobs. Coming to VVSD was the best decision I ever made. Um, got in here, uh, the first thing they did is set me up with uh, somebody to figure out where I am, where I wanted to go. There was somebody there for me every step of the way and uh, the next thing I know I'm being offered a, a position and now I'm working at uh, the Naval Medical Center in San Diego closing out contracts. I had been looking for a job since August, you know, and now I have one. Okay, look, I've got a job to go do. 
you know, it, 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 that it, it again helps with the self-esteem, it helps with the confidence, look, I can do this, I am worth something. What's important to us is for our vets to know that every one of them is worth something. When they leave VVSD, we want them to have reached their fullest potential. When I walk out those doors, I'll be ready for the world. And I'll be ready to deal with the problems I have without using drugs. I'm more optimistic about my future today after six months in treatment here than I have been in, in a decade. Having the opportunity to come here, VVSD saved my life.